what's going on and welcome back. We are on day two with our wall mission. Now that I have my framing up, I just gotta start putting my shiplap in. So last night, I went ahead and pre-stained a couple sample pieces of this wood to see what I wanted to go with, and this is what I came up with. One of them turned out a little too pink for my liking, and the other one, I have no idea what color that came out to be. So needless to say, those are no's. I ended up with these two as my options. This is a cream, it's a, it's a, it's a creamy white, okay? And then this is a walnut stain, special walnut, I believe. And this is my ceiling. So you tell me, which one looks best for you? <laughs> Posted it on Instagram to see if I can get some help. A lot of people offered their insight and I realized, Yes, maybe the crowd goes wild over the white, but literally everyone does with van life. I love it, I think it looks amazing. But for me, is that my vibe? Creamy white or all out cabin? So far, 70% of the people voted for this, but the people who voted for this know me a lot better. So I've decided that I am going to just put my shiplap up ship lap up and then paint and stain it later so i'm not going to worry about that now and that's the moral of this story but i'm curious which one do you think best fits my energy from what you know of me so far the crane franchi white or this walnut oh or this walnut stain i don't even need any of the adhesive it's so much easier on the walls than it was on the ceiling, that's for sure. Nice. This looks good. So before I carry on, that was actually really easy to do. I'm excited to keep going. However, there's other things I need to think about. One, this little area right here, I wanna put a plug there. So I need to make sure my next few pieces can fit a, an outlet. Sorry, I said plug, I meant outlet, same thing. And then on this side, on either side of the window, both sides, I'm gonna have lamps. So I need to make sure I keep that into account as well. Maybe I should leave myself a note. <laughs> okay, I know what I'm gonna do. You know what, even if I forget, I can totally put it somewhere else. <laughs> I'm not gonna forget, because I'm, I'm saying this. I'm saying this out loud so I don't forget. Remind me. Okay, before I keep going, I just realized I should most definitely sand these pieces at the very least if I'm not gonna paint them before I get them up on the wall. Cause I think it'd be a pain in the booty to just like sand it while it's up on the wall, getting everywhere. Let's avoid that and do that now. They're lined up. Wow, this is like the first time I got something right. Okay, let's uh, do the do. Breathe, my friend. hard part is to shape around the window. Let's just get to it. Sweet. You know what, I changed my mind. I said that I was going to put a plug or an outlet here, but I think I want it to just be here, which means when I get to this part, I'm gonna have to make it like dent out um, so that it fits my plugs. And we'll figure that out when we figure that out for now. I'm just gonna keep trekking away at this. I'm really proud of myself for this. This is actually being very flush. It's a little like millimeters off on the side, but I, it's something I can deal with. I can cover it somehow. This isn't looking too bad. I forgot to put my insulation in. <laughs> Damn it. I 
think I'm getting better at measuring because that came to me pretty easily. Awesome, let's finish this off. So it's been a few hours, but I got one side done. Looks great, I love my shelf here. I think I did a pretty good job cutting that. I'm leaving this blank for now because I'm gonna be covering it with cabinet. So instead of stressing about how I'm gonna put something up there, I'm just gonna leave it for now and maybe the cabinet solution will cover it. Now, I was actually gonna end my day but decided to work on this side because whatever. I didn't do as sexy of a job this time around, but that's okay, I'll just find a way to cover that. Now that we've reached the point here, I left myself a note, right? Lamp. I'm gonna cut my holes and I need to wire, um, find my wire and rewire it around here so that it doesn't get lost. So we're gonna do that before I go any further. Okay, so these are my lamps, my lamp of choice. Oh, look at how small that is, that's so cute. So I got two of these, it'll fit right, right there. How cute is that? It does come with a USB port. I'm not sure if I'll be using it that often. For some reason, I feel like it won't be as efficient on this thing, but I have an option for it. All right, here she is. I just, underneath here are the screws. I'm not gonna take it out because it took me a second to get it in. And here are my little wires. I'm gonna connect it here. Here's the wire that goes, at, that goes down to my distribution panel, so I'm gonna connect it real quick. Make sure it works. <laughs> okay, now how do you turn it off? Okay, this would be cooler if there was an off button. How do I turn it off? Okay, off. Let's try this again. It's on. It's really on. Really low. Okay, you tap it three times and it turns off. <laughs> Good to know. I'm gonna be, oh hi. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I am not in the mood to do this today, but all I have to do is finish my wall then I can be done. That is the goal. But I just, I don't have it in me to do it today. I don't know why. I think I lost that dopamine rush that I had the last two weeks. But, uh, let's get to it, because as soon as I get this done, I'll be able to work on my, my bed beam things. Because my mattress arrived, and I would very much like to go on a little trip next weekend, because I've been doing this for way too long, and I haven't done anything for myself for a while. That would be very nice. Building a home is for myself, but you know what? I need a break. Okay, you're friendly and well behaved. <laughs> Another thing that kind of sucks right now, I those two lights that I have in there, one of them works great, but the other one does not work. And I've done every troubleshooting technique I can think of and it just doesn't work. Unfortunately, I bought them. Can you hear me by the way? I don't know. But unfortunately, I bought them back in March and it's way past the return date on Amazon. So I can't exchange it without having to pay for an entirely new one. Today is an off day. All I want to do right now is binge watch the brand new Residential Evil TV series. That's all I want to do. Maybe I can do it next week. <laughs> Here is my final results. It is like 95% done. Now, thank you so much, that's so kind of you. I think I'm just gonna go start staining it. I decided to go with the walnut color and if it ends up being ugly, I'll paint over it white. So, this was dumb. I'm gonna tell you that right now, this was dumb to do the staining after putting up on the wall. I really wish I made my decision before doing it, but it is what it is, so we're, we're gonna deal. <laughs> Here's to hoping I don't get this everywhere. Oh, it's already working. Okay, so I've been feeling really off recently. I really feel like a lot of the build that I've done so far with the walls and stuff, I really could have gotten it done in one weekend, but I've just been really slow. Potentially burnt out, potentially experiencing decision fatigue, doing this all by myself, but you know what? 
We're this much closer to being done. I'm about halfway done with my build. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so let me show you what I've got done with my wall thus far. We've got, oh, hi. We've got ourselves a wall and another one. How cool is that? Okay. As you can see, I still don't have a piece up here, but I'll get to it. <laughs> I'm not super eager to get to it right now because one of these pieces, it fits here, but then this is angled in such a way that it leaves a little bit of a gap. So I need another plank to put over here um, before I get another one of those. And I just don't really feel like dealing with that. I mean, when I get this done, <laughs> I'll get that done. And then over here on this side, it is 85% complete. The 15% is I need to get my matte finish on here. I opted for a matte as opposed to like a glossy one, like my ceiling and my garage wall, because I was told by some sources that having gloss on gloss is not a really good look. So we're doing gloss on matte. <laughs> so we'll see if that, that looks okay. Right here, this very top one, I really am happy about how it fits, by the way. So as you know, these are tongue and groove pieces. This top part had a, a tongue, had a tongue, had a tongue part, okay? And I chopped it off so it would fit here flush and like not look silly. This, can you tell? Yeah, right here. That is one whole piece, okay? And as you can see, the groove part is underneath. And I wasn't sure how I was going to deal with that. I thought I was just going to ignore it. <laughs> but the coolest part of this whole thing that has all happened on a happy accident give me a second this right here this wonderful straight piece that i cut from up there okay with my new circular saw uh blade i got a new blade for my circular saw and it is wonderful i will link it below i highly recommend it seriously okay this fits one second. This fits in there perfectly. It's perfect. Should I turn the light on? It feels pretty dark. Okay. It is, look at that. Look at how, let me scoot that down. It is perfect in there. And so when you look underneath, it's just a, a flat piece. How stinking cool is that? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is stain that and then Gorilla Glue it, or wood glue it with Gorilla Glue in there. And then I'll be done with that. That's, that's so stinking exciting. And the flat surface underneath, I feel like it's big enough if I wanna put like LED lights, the sticker LED lights down there, I totally could. And I might, I'm thinking about it. All right, so I went ahead and used this crystal that <laughs> I use that to finish everything including these little pieces right here and it took probably like less than 15 minutes to dry so I'm gonna start putting it all together now I just need to measure this guy to fit in the place that I want to put it I want it to hide these screws and this line right here I just just like that I'm gonna have it on both sides of the windows on both windows <laughs> and then I'm also gonna have another piece going across like that to also cover those ugly screws. Let's, oh, sorry, this is what I'm gonna use. This right here, this little piece. This is a one and a quarter inch piece of trim, piece of, I don't know what kind of wood, but I got in the wood section Home Depot. Look at this. It's a little satisfying how well that fit. Honestly, when I cut this piece, I cut it to fit the side over here, but it fits over here so perfectly. I, it was just a happy little accident, so I think I'm just gonna leave it there for now, see how it looks, and then cut another piece for the sides of the wall at a later time. So let's just get, let's start moving. Okay, so let me show you the half final results. So I was using 3M tape, 3M double-sided tape and wood glue to stick the trims and stuff up, but I literally just ran out of both and I ran out of trim to put on that side. So that's gonna be on hold for the rest of the day. I'm gonna work on getting the things for my bed. <laughs> I can't even speak right now, so maybe I shouldn't work on that. Anyway, this was super exciting. I am, let me look at that. 
I am so happy about this. Like, I am getting this much closer to being on the road. If you were interested in what you saw so far, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'm happy that you're here. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see some real-time updates of the build. I am slowing down a little bit with the YouTube uploads, and that's only because these tasks right now, it's, it's a little harder for me. Woodworking and making things look aesthetically pleasing is just so difficult for me to do. It is taking me a little longer than, you know, doing my electrical, because that was actually easy for me, because it works or it doesn't work. It's safe or it isn't safe. With the wood stuff, it's like, it's functional, but does it look good? You need both. <laughs> you don't need both when you do your electrical. Anyway, see you later. How you doing, huh? You wanna talk to us? You wanna tell the world how you feel about everything? Are you excited to be on the road? Yeah.